The person behind Slipknot's visuals and vision clown, M. Sean Crahan, is set to release his new book of photography, The Apocalyptic Nightmare Journey Through MTV Books, in June. The book features Sean's creative visions with Polaroids, and he said the theme is the juxtaposition of light and dark, something and nothing. Sean talked about how the apocalyptic nightmare journey got started. I basically, you know, had 5,000 photos and I started digging into it like a treasure chest to see what jewels I have. And I just started pulling ones that I loved, you know, and it was impossible to go through all of them. So I just committed to like 300. I just kind of pulled as I was going and some would get tossed over here and some would get thrown over here. And there was way even more than 300. We started with 300. Then I brought it down to like 180, and I don't even know how many's in the book because I don't care. It's anywhere from 150 to 200, somewhere in between, or nowhere at all. As for his favorites, Crahan remembers the making of the altered photos rather than one specific piece. A lot of the photos that are my favorite are photos that I was taking. And I put in another, you know, box, you know, packet of film, and I take like 40, and I'd throw them all over the yard after snapping them and everything. I'd go have a cigar or something with my bros, and then all of a sudden we'd all think at once, oh my God, there's all those photos out there. And I'm like, yeah, we were just getting bored, and now we have something to do. And I'd go out there, and I'd pull the first one, and I'd go, uh-oh, I forgot to pull the, the, the silver thing, whatever, the guard or whatever that, you know, it's a placement so you can take the back off and not expose film, you know, and it, it, it taking like 40 black pictures and it just I'm like this isn't a photograph because the image never got to go through the gray and become all the color and because it's nothingness it's something they're together and that seems impossible to have nothing and something rubbing up against each other we asked him what insights he got from the book I, I was looking through the process of manipulation to um, obtain something. It's the action plus the reaction to equal the result. And the result basically is obtaining some sort of perfection through imperfection, you know? Um, through manipulating and being fine with it and destroying, you know, taking a picture of someone like yourself and then you having an expectation of what it is because of conformity. And I would just stare and freely go where no man has gone before. And then I would rip the photo in half and you'd be like, why did you do that? It was going to be perfect. And I'm like, there is no perfect. I just let the energy go. And now I've wound up with this. And this is what we're with. And is everybody supposed to look at you in some way that you don't see yourself? This is random. It's circumstantial. It's imperfect. And that becomes, at the end, that's what I learned. After 11 years and 5,000 Polaroids, that's what I learned. Is it was the imperfectness of this world that I had to accept because I have no control. Un control is uncertainty. Uncertainty is scarier than f And once you can live within that uncertainty, you've let go. And once you let go, man, it's frightening. And... Uh, then you just live in it, sit in it, <laughs> sit in it, and uh, you know, then you're free. The book features a foreword by Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich, who has become a fan of not only Slipknot, but of Sean's art. We'll have more about the book in the meeting with Lars in the coming days. The tentative release date for the apocalyptic nightmare journey is June 19th.